Hello, Zebrahead, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters. And today, we're gonna be continuing on with the story mode. We did a lot in the last episode. We met Android 21, which actually ended up being that red ribbon scientist. A lot of crazy stuff. You should just go ahead and check it out, but we also unlocked Gohan. We're going against clone Frieza, Yamcha, and Piccolo in this next level. We're actually on our way to saving Vegeta, presumably against Cell, or not Cell, Frieza. Don't really know too much. I don't want to spoil it for myself, so we're just gonna continue on with the battles for now and see what ends up happening. Standing in front of Piccolo's clone reminds me of when we fought him in the world tournament. I love that. That's like, oh my gosh, I love Dragon Ball's world tournaments, They're like the original ones. Oh, that was quite some time ago. Indeed it was. Yeah, Piccolo's definitely changed a bunch since then, huh? Indeed, he doesn't seem to have a shred of evil left in him anymore. Oh, by the way, did you know Piccolo babysits Pan when Gohan and his wife are out of the house? Isn't that neat? So convenient. He calms her down and changes her diapers. I hear he's pretty good at it. <laughs> he even makes baby food for her. Definitely the perfect babysitter. <laughs> Piccolo changing diapers? I can't tell which one of you is actually Pan's grandfather anymore. Hey, you sound just like Chi Chi. She says Piccolo makes a better grandpa than me. I don't think that's something you should be particularly proud of as Pan's actual grandfather. Listen, and I don't think you should go telling people that Piccolo is taking care of your granddaughter. Huh? Why's that? Yeah, he's a great dude. Uh, well, to protect Piccolo's image, I guess. <laughs> I guess that is true. His image? <coughs> Let's end this conversation here, shall we? <laughs> I yeah. love that. Let's take care of this Piccolo clone and show him who's grandpa. Me. Okay, so awesome stuff there. I mean, it's really interesting when you think about that. Like, Goku's journey, journey through Dragon Ball is the story of, yeah, like this kid who has miraculous fighting powers, but more than that, a really good knack for making enemies into friends. Every single person in like Dragon Ball originally tried to kill him. Bulma shot him, shot at him when she first ran into him because Goku like knocked over her car and she freaked out. And then she ran into Oolong who tried to, you know, rob him. Oh, it wants me to charge my key. Okay, what which tutorial is this? Um, all right, so I think we've done this tutorial in the past if this is what it's telling me to do. Um, ultimate Z change. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, and then, uh, I did L during a super attack. There it goes, right? No? Uh, all right, I'll try that again. Did that not count as a super attack? Maybe I should do something simpler, like a Masanko? Okay. Uh, hold on. No, not what I wanted. No, that didn't work either. Maybe I just didn't time it very well. Like, I'm just sort of spamming the button. <laughs> don't, don't counter it. Okay, let me see this then. Press L1 in the middle of a super attack to perform an ultimate Z change. Uses the switch to an ally and fire off a consecutive uh, super attacks. Hold back when pressing L1 to change to a meteor attack. Can also be performed with, okay. Okay, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know, weird. I don't know, it's being weird about it. I don't really know what I'm missing here. Regardless, you know, first it was, uh, Bulma, and then it moved over to Oolong. I mean, the only like Dragon Ball, original Dragon Ball series enemy I can really think of that is really still his enemy would be the Red Ribbon Army and Emperor Pilaf. Beyond that, everybody is ended up being his friend because then he ran into Yamcha, and Yamcha tried to sort of rob Goku. I think they tried to leave him for dead in the desert or something, something like that. And then eventually they went to the World Tournament, and that's where they found, uh, they went against well, first off, they went against Master Roshi disguised as, uh, what was it, was it Jackie Chan or something? Obviously, like a reference to Jackie Chan or something. But regardless, a martial arts master. And then they moved over to Tien in the next martial arts tournament. And then, well, maybe that could have been the same one. I can't remember, it's been a while. But Tien was his main enemy for a while. Remember when Tien was the strongest enemy Goku had ever faced? Ah, oh, man, Tien was so cool. And then same thing with Piccolo Sr. and Piccolo Jr. I guess King Piccolo and Piccolo Jr. And and those are really awesome battles. I mean, I know the fighting is different choreograph like in like choreograph, I don't know, choreographically, they're sort of different in Dragon Ball than they were Dragon Ball Z just because of how things worked, but it was still really great. I think not a, pe not a lot of people get that credit. Anyways, we gotta play more Tien than we did uh, Adult Gohan there, if we can manage. 
Yeah, I just like blabbing about Dragon Ball. That's why I've been so excited for the series. This has been like definitely my most anticipated game going into 2018, especially since it's you know so close to the beginning of 2018. But we're, we're going to be playing a lot of awesome games this year, including more Dragon Ball Fighter. So don't forget that I wanted to change the TN. There we go. We are just destroying Yamcha here. Sorry, Yamcha. Oh my gosh, he's not going to have like a second to breathe at this rate. Oh, oh, he countered it. Look at him. Okay. So let me go ahead and try to beat you up a little bit. There you go. Gotcha. So I'm gonna try to charge up so we can actually use some moves as him. But I feel like I'm getting pretty familiar with Tien here. We're going against our evil clone self. It's interesting how in the cutscenes they'll be all brooding and have like this awful posture, like they're just pure evil and exuding negative energy. But when you actually face them, they they just you know are exactly the same as you know with the characters. Probably because they did want to spend all that time animating the characters in different ways. Of course, that would take a lot of production time. But regardless, it's just an interesting story quirk. But yeah, I mean, we haven't figured out why exactly there are clones yet, except for the fact that it probably has to do with. I mean, I think they basically said that it does have to do with. Okay, you know what? This isn't working out too well. Hold on, get Gohan back out here and finish him off. But yeah, I mean, I think they basically said that has to do with uh. Android 21 and whatever red, the Red Ribbon Army is doing, but beyond that, like, what else is going on there? Okay, ooh, gotcha, no, hold on, hold on. I do like being able to teleport like that, that's always a lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I wanna get it as far as we can, and then, and then I wanted to do this, and then, oh, was that not the right one? I guess that wasn't the right one. So I want to charge all the way up to seven. Oh, I guess we can't. But I wanted to charge up as far as we could to see how many of the uh, the beams we could do, the tri-beam cannons. Okay, well there's that. He's level 10 now. Tien's almost level eight, which is pretty good. Yeah, we should be pretty good with that. We can move on to the next level. There's still a lot of levels to tackle here, and cells popping up and everything. I mean, I'm pretty happy with our cast of characters right now. We can keep chilling out with them. I do think that it will be a good idea just to always have Goku in our team, silently leveling up every single time. That way we just have a consistently really good character. So that when we finally do run into enemies that actually bother to attack, we have a character that might be strong enough to support going against that. And I think it's still good, while the game is as easy as it is, to you know do as many battles as we can. Man, Cell is super tall. Like, Gohan's pretty tall as well. I think he's a little bit taller than Goku, right? Maybe I'm wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure he is. I mean, Goku's not super tall. I mean, like compared to like Vegeta and like most of the main DBZ cast, that's one of those things, it's like, Goku's like an in the middle height character, but beyond that, most other characters are either super tall or like super short, like Krillin, Vegeta. I mean, I guess there's like Tien, Yamcha, Goku, Gohan. But beyond that, you know, like, oh, oh no, that's not the right one I wanted to do, no! But that did so much damage. Holy cow, too bad it, 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 there was emotional ties at stake. Okay, well we can only do that one once per battle. Man, but I mean, just playing Dragon Ball games, Brings me a lot to when I was a younger zebra. Just because I played so many when I was growing up, they were just always so exciting. Just like, I don't know. It was just for the, I guess like one of my first things I really got like super into and I guess a little obsessed with. So it's just cool to think about. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. But hey, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just finish you off with the Super Kamehameha or miss it, never mind then. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I mean, trying to get all the Dragon Ball games and I would play each one like to total death. Especially the Budokai games, Budokai 1, 2, 3, even though 1 and 2 really aren't that great, I still love them, especially Budokai 2, which you know, I have compared to this one a lot, the board game style thing is weirdly sort of borrowed from that. Like they've like sort of completely ejected Budokai 2, like Bandai has, because uh, I know that a couple years ago they released the Budokai HD collection, which included Budokai 1 and Budokai 3. They just skipped over two. And I was like, I sort of understand why, because it really wasn't that great of a game. And it didn't make any sense, storyline-wise. Um, it was just a weird chunk of fan service in it. Like, I mean, I mean, that's awesome, but they sort of threw the actual story to the wayside, so they sacrificed fan service for fan service. It was weird, I'll talk about it in a moment. But regardless, um, can I get you here? Oh, there you go. Uh, they just totally booted it. It's like, that's a part of my child if you can't just give that a boot. I might want to pick up the uh, HD collection of the Budokai games at some point. I don't think they're on. Oh, am I supposed to be using, oh, is this a tutorial right now? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, this is easy assist. There you go. Oh no, I, I didn't do that right. I gotta click it, I gotta not hold it. Oh, well, we're going to get freezing now. 
Awesome. All right, Z assist. Thank you. <laughs> Not bad, I totally messed. Now on, perform a Z change. Got it, pretty easy. Okay, so now on. I'll do that, there we go. Switch over to Goku. And then, during Dragon Rush? What, what is, Dragon Rush is that, right? There we go, perfect. So that should have knocked him out, I think. Finish by defeating the enemy. Okay, I should be able to do that pretty easily. Hold on, hold on. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to, uh... there we go. Let's see how many I can land with this one. None. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. <laughs> I should probably just stop trying. If, if the situation arises, then I'll use it. I mean, I didn't really actually lose too much energy there. I just wanna charge up. Ooh. All right, no wait, 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 stop, stop. Stop doing your volleyball fist. No, I did the wrong one again. Chow Tzu! <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Well, we're going against Frieza. Oh yeah, we knocked him away. I forgot about that. I was like, didn't we already face him? Okay. Man, the sparking, sparking blast, sparking rage here is pretty cool. But really, yeah, Budokai 2 was a super duper weird, I guess it was sort of like the black sheep of the Budokai series because Budokai 1, it was a pretty decent game. It was very early in the PS2 GameCube life cycle, so comparative to some of the later PS2 games, it was like super duper ugly. But it only told up to the Cell Saga because I think at the time, the Boo Saga was still happening in the States, it was still airing, so they didn't wanna make the game based on an unfinished saga, so they ended it right at the end of the Cell Saga, which is fine, it still made for a good game. Budokai 2 got really wonky, because it was made after the Majin Buu Saga, so it had all the Majin Buu content in it, but also, it didn't tell the story correctly. It had this, like, you know, thing you see here, oh, there's a lot of fire truck outside. I don't think you guys will be able to hear it too much, hopefully, but regardless, it was like Mario Party a little bit. Instead of, you know, your move, your character, like in this game, moves across a board, and depending on whether you are on the board, different things can happen, but there was also the enemies. The enemies who were supposed to fight were also moving around on the board, and sometimes there were certain objectives you had to do, but it was overall a really tough game, and it was just all about trying to get to those characters, beating them up to get to the next story point, but you could also explore those maps and get things like Dragon Balls, and that could be helpful for unlocking more things in the game. It was a little weird, it was definitely chance-based, and not always the most fun to play through, and definitely at some points, very difficult because you could just constantly run into different enemies on the board that were just filler, were there to make it more difficult for you to succeed. Stuff like, there were always Cybermen. You'd be on like the Boo Saga and there'd be like super powerful Cybermen all over the board just trying to beat you up, constantly lowering your health more than you'd rather it be. Um, Beyond that, it was just so difficult because of the fact that, uh, there we go, I just did that to break his guard. I mean, there's probably better ways to do that. All right, come on, come on. Ooh, I guess we'll just do this again. That's fine. Ooh, I don't know if he tried, it. I guess he blocked that a little bit. There we go, we finished him now. Oh, he sort of went through it. And then he exploded it, that was weird. Anyways, what was weird about it is it didn't tell the story correctly. So, like in the Saiyan Saga, um, instead of it just being, oh you face Raditz, and then of course you have a training period and Nappa and Vegeta show up, uh, it was Raditz and Nappa show up at the same exact time. And then you don't even see Vegeta for the first time until you're already at, um, whoa! Whoa, we both teleported at the same time, that was super wonky. I didn't, why, why did he get lucky there? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's just go ahead and beat you up, finish you off. But yeah, so like it didn't tell the story entirely correctly. You didn't, like it just sort of, I guess to make it more concise so they wouldn't have to make multiple maps or something. I, oh man, everybody got a level up there, that was awesome. I think we're about good to start changing up the characters again. Tien's getting close to level 10, which is good. I need to level up Yamcha a little bit. We'll make our way down. We still have 11 turns worth of doing, so I can see why, you know, it was sort of evicted from the Budokai series in some ways, so we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll get Yamcha. There we go. Get a bit more of a classic setup. Let's begin the battle. Only two enemies this time. It's at the martial arts tournament. But there was an interesting set of fan service in Budokai 2 in a couple different ways. One thing, there were a lot of fusions. That was sort of something you could do in the Budokai games is you could fuse with different characters, of course, like, you know, Fusion Ha. You know, either that be, Go you know, Vegeta, no, no, Vegeta was with the Patara E-Ranks. Gogeta was just a normal fusion, which I don't think was ever canon. I, th I think Gogeta was only in the movies. Like, a lot of people are always like, oh, why didn't I done Gogeta in this? Because it actually has never been canon. Especially since Vegeta as a character does not want to fuse with Goku. 
I don't think the Gogeta ever happened in a in a actual canon situation. You know, it's all been in the non-canon movies. Unless, I'm pretty sure that's the case. You know, the Vegito has happened. That was definitely canon during the Boo Saga. Regardless, I'm getting off topic. What I wanted to talk about was the fact that it's been pretty crazy because there were crazy fusions. My favorite was apparently if you unlocked enough of the Dragon Balls, you can unlock a secret fusion that was Tien fusing with Yamcha. And it looked super weird because he was both bald and had like a spiky, hair situation looked like he was balding, but also had really long spike hair. It was just really weird. And like, there was like a, a lot of weird ones. Another favorite was uh, Gokul. Um, and that was based off of the fact that uh, there was, I know a point in the anime where like, Goku didn't have anybody to toss to Patara earrings to, and he was like, do I toss it to Hercule or Mr. Satan or whatever? And like, he imagined it, and it was just funny. That actually ended up becoming a thing in the game. And there were a couple different really weird fusions. There were also a lot of different things that Boo could absorb, Super Boo, because you know, Super Boo could absorb like Gohan and become Super Boo Gohan in the anime. He could do that to like a ton of characters in Budokai 2, like Frieza and Cell, and he would have a different appearance based on each one. Which don't get, get me wrong, is like it's really weird, but I found it so cool when I played the game. Which was weird for me because I wanted to get all the Budokai games because they all seem to have their different little quirks to them. When I was getting into Dragon Ball, Budokai 3 was already out. So even though I was buying like an inferior version and I knew that, but it was different and that was really interesting to me. I definitely think Budokai 3 is the best. Like, don't get me wrong. It has like a really cool character roster. It just plays super well. It looks way better than Budokai 1 and 2. But yeah, maybe I should talk a little bit more about this game. It wants me to hit a special move. Let us go ahead and try to do that. See, does it count this as a special move? Or am I getting confused with other things? See, that's not a special move. A special move is maybe the more simple stuff, like Wolf Fang Fist, yes. Okay. Um, one hit with a powered up special move. So a powered up special move should be that, but when we have more energy. Wait, right? Hold on, let me try that again. Reverse Wolf Fang Fist, so like towards the opponent. There we go, did that not count? So maybe that's not a powered up special move. What else can we do then? Um, I would imagine some of this stuff, like Wolfgang Fist Gale Claws? Or maybe just Kamehameha would be good? Did that count? No, so I guess it's gonna be, Spirit Ball should be a powered up special move. No? What's a power up special move game? I'm doing like all of Yamcha's moves and none of them count? Uh, press upper circle to release a powered up special move. It uses a key. I guess it depends on which button we press, huh? Yes, it does. I forgot about that. Okay. Wait, hold on. There we go. I'm being a dingus then. Cool. Then hit with the super attack. So that's going to be, you know, like the spirit ball or the. I'm doing it wrong because we don't have enough energy. Man, I'm super awful at landing these. Got it. Okay, there we go. Are you happy now, game? He's gonna tell me to defeat the enemy now. Okay, he didn't land a single hit there, because it wasn't supposed to, it was just a tutorial. I mean, we knew how to do most of that already, I was just getting it confused. Like, I'm just bad with the terminology, I guess. Anyways, we'll try to do that. There we go, that was pretty decent. Let's go ahead and get Goku in here or something. Okay, well, Goku helped in some way. There we go. So it's sometimes a pretty good one that constantly seem to be blocking and just trying to play defensive is to bring in your other character. I mean, the one thing I haven't done too much is like try to knock their character out to go and battle another character. I never really see the benefit in that too much. I mean, I'm guessing some characters have a strength compared to other characters and like, you know, some characters are just stronger than like, you know, their strength and weaknesses with each one. So maybe as I'm, if I'm playing Krillin, I might not do good as, against Majin Buu, but I do really good against Tien. I'm not really sure. But uh, I guess, yeah, it's just a matter of what you're confident with and you know, trying to force them to play the character that maybe they weren't ready to play. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure that out, I guess. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and check out this. It is the enemy team of Frieza and Captain Ginyu. Ooh, I'm excited, let's check it out. But yeah, one interesting thing is that you don't unlock Goku and Vegeta without being Super Saiyan. I did pre-order this game, so we should be getting Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan uh, for both of them, but I'm not really sure when. Probably not anytime soon. What are we looking for? That's odd. Vegeta should be close by. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey, look over there. Oh my. Vegeta, time to finish 
what I started. Oh boy. Get him! Oh. Is Vegeta okay? Who's there? It's us, it's Piccolo! Well, well. If it isn't the welcome wagon. <sighs> and I was so close to. I wanted to off this impertinent prince. Before that woman could turn him into an hors d'oeuvre. What is he talking about? Although, that wouldn't change your pitiful fate as the main horse, would it? In fact, I may as well exterminate all of you now! I'd like to see you try! Wait, Lord Frieza, please! Allow your Ooh. Heart to assist me. Ooh, the Ginyu Force! <laughs> I love it. Awesome. But we only get the phase of Captain Ginyu. The rest of the Ginyu Force is not a part of it, I thought. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Tough crowd. I guess the more things change, the more they stay the same, huh? And they do this, um, why again? Um, <clears throat> well, impressive. Now then, it will be my pleasure to watch all of you perish. All right, we're gonna go to it. Us versus, v not Vegeta, but Frieza and Captain Ginyu. I really wish the rest of the uh, Ginyu Force was a part of it, but at the same time, if I had to choose them over other characters, you know, I'm like, uh, I wouldn't want to, you know? So it would be cool to see Super Buu in this game. Like we have Majin Buu and Kid Buu. I think Super Buu would be a fun in the middle with that. But I mean, I haven't really gotten too much of a chance to see how Kid Buu plays. So maybe I shouldn't speak so soon. Either way, we're going. Yamcha versus Freezer, the matchup everybody has been dying to see. Okay, so I think we'll be able to handle this quite well. I mean, we really haven't had any battles that we've had a hard time with, so we're just gonna go for it. So far, so good, the ultimate Wolf Fang Fest. Nice, that did so much damage, I love it. One thing I love about Yamcha is of course he has his own blast moves, of course he has Kamehameha and everything, but he's so much more of like a martial artist than some of the other characters have been so far. He doesn't rely so much on those kind of crazy special beams and everything. I mean, his main super move is Wolf Fang Fist. And it's like, that doesn't really have too much energy about it at all. It's just, it's really cool. In my opinion, it's just a different character in that way. All right, here we go. And I'll just try to keep going and then, oh, okay. That was pretty good, I guess. I didn't really even mean to get Goku in there. I mean, he didn't land the shot, so it didn't really matter. But Freeze is already down, so we can just get Yamcha back out here and then I think we'll be able to beat him. But yeah, we're not even facing clones right now. This is the real deal. Come on, and then we're gonna go for the grab. Got him, and that should finish him. Nice, we played pretty well there then. We only took a tiny bit of damage as Krillin, and now we have finished. Vegeta Super Saiyan is now playable. Nice, so we unlock a brand new character and beat up some brand new foes. I guess not brand new, but new to the game. We haven't faced those guys in the game yet, so pretty cool if you ask me. So now what's gonna happen? I guess we save Vegeta, who is probably gonna be all upset that he got beat up by Frieza again. I can see now why Cell was struggling so much. You have done quite well to tap into this much power. Sorry, Frieza. Looks like you're the one that's going to be doing the dying today. But before we blast you into microscopic pieces, you're going to tell us something. Oh, pray tell. When you said we'd be that woman's main course, what did you mean? Because as I see it, Android 21 is just trying to kill us. <laughs> Very well. I suppose I should reward you for that stimulating scuffle. No, Lord Frieza. There's no need to divulge information to the enemy. No need to worry. I merely want to fan the flame of fear that is to consume them. That woman. You refer to her as Android 21, if I am not mistaken. Well, I guess so. We don't have any other name. She fully devours warriors, which adds their strength to hers. It's a simply remarkable process. Who is she devoured? You're kidding! I'm serious. She turns her victims into candy treats. 
just crude, if you want my opinion. I see. So that's what her scheme is. Yeesh. I mean, talk about bizarre. I mean, you should be used to it. You've faced Majin Buu before. That's not too different from Seller Boo. Yeah. Well then, if that's the case, we're pretty lucky to have found these guys before Android 21 could gobble them down. Oh, stop all your silly nonsense. I won't become more than 21. Nor grovel before you cretins. Hmm. Think you can get away from us, Frieza? We'll chase you down. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, Guldo can just do that, can he? Damn it. Oh, we're frozen. <laughs> Good job, Guldo, I guess. First time you've been useful in a really long time. Alright, see ya, Frieza. See ya, Kenya Force. Oh my gosh, that one. I mean, I guess this freeze is still out and about. But yeah, who has Android 21 eaten by now then? For her to be as powerful as she is, she has had to eat a lot of formidable foes, right? But who? I see, a lot has happened while I was out. Still, letting Frieza slither away like that proves you're nothing but soft. You were made painfully aware of Guldo's power when you fought him on Namek. I yeah, sorry about that. <sighs> Vegeta, I don't think you have room to talk right now. He sorta of doesn't. While you were sleeping like a Saiyan log, everyone was out fighting for the world. <laughs> uh, maybe we could just save the marital squabbles for later, huh? <laughs> I know, I know, you're right. It's been some time since 21 flew off. Yeah. And if what Frieza said is true, 21 should be a lot stronger by now. That's right. It's high time you pull the plug on that oversized blender. Yeah, but we can't get a fix on 21's power. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. It doesn't matter how strong 21 gets. I'm sending her to the trash compactor. <laughs> you say so, Vegeta, if you say so. <sighs> there he goes again. Really, Vegeta? You were napping this whole time. You've never seen Android 21 in action. I mean, he really hasn't, but that's Vegeta for you. Kakarot, just shut it. Look, we're glad you're on board, Vegeta, but you'd better get used to linking before taking on 21. Who we get a link with Vegeta? Remember, without linking, we are utterly powerless. <laughs> that's certainly no way to fight. We don't know where the waves are coming from. We just have to accept it. <laughs> Okay, okay. Settle down, everyone. And that goes for you, too, Vegeta. Piccolo's the one who saved your butt when Frieza was about to fry you. I think you owe him some thanks. Oh, he acted on his own. I don't recall asking for help. Oh, is that how it is? Well, good. Because the thought of being thanked by you makes me want to hurl. Ooh. What, what was that? <laughs> nice comeback, Vegeta. <laughs> so, uh... Guys, it's time. Game plan. Let's clean up the baddies that we know are out there already. Look, we can't afford to let 21 chomp them down and then get even stronger. Good thinking. And fighting those clones, that would be some good link practice, too. The very thought of fighting with someone else in my body is just sickening. But I'll let it slide this once. All right, so I guess we get to unlock Vegeta now. We get to play as him. That is awesome. So our roster is getting bigger and bigger. It's gonna be undoubtedly hard to keep everybody well leveled at this point. I'm gonna have to start choosing characters, you know, that I can rely on a bit more. Yamcha's Link of It has been triggered. Check it out at the edit team or arc gallery menus. Ooh, nice. So I guess, yeah, as soon as we hit level 10 with certain characters, they get Link things, but we're still on, no, I think we're on a different map now, but it's still Goku versus, no, 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 this is a different chapter than chapter seven, map 11, a fateful rematch, Goku versus Frieza. We will worry about it next time. As you can see though, we will be unlocking somebody here. I don't think I wanna spoil it for myself right now, but we'll go ahead and check out Yamcha's Link event to finish things off today. So go to here and here and see what this is all about. We've had one for Goku. 
This link thing is gonna take some time getting used to. Indeed it does. It feels off, you know? Like having someone else inside your head and stuff? Yeah. Never expected this. First Goku and Vegeta get the call, and now it seems they want me. But hey, I was one badass dude in my fighting days. Just give me a chance, you'll see. By the way, there's not much to worry about. Goku and the gang will clean things up, no problem. Okay, well, that was it. So I guess here there's a bunch of linking events for probably each character, which is a nice little touch. They definitely didn't have to do that at all, but it's here and that's pretty nice. So yeah, there are a lot of them too. And I can only imagine that's gonna be the case for other characters once we do better as them. Like, what about Gohan? No link events available. But like, is that gonna be the same for every character until we unlock their link events? Like, what about Vegeta? Okay, I don't know. We'll figure it out later, but that'll wrap it up for today's episode of Dragon Ball Fighters. If you watch this one video, make sure you comment freeze a zebra so any of you watched at the end of the you are a zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.